Well, to be fair... Oh, don't say to be fair. I hate when people say to be fair. It sounds like, uh, to be fair. To be fair. Well, to be fair. Let's get this going. Let's kick let's kick start this snowball. Hey yo, how we doing? Welcome everybody back into the Is Wizard it still hot kitchen. out there? You son of a beast thing. Start it off hot. Hot stepping right from the get go. Hello. Welcome. It's me, Widget33, Andy B, whatever it is you like to call me. How we doing? Hey Saf, how we doing? Doors, Tiki Gone Wilds. I appreciate you all stopping in so early. Today is gonna be a monumental task. I'm doing okay. I'm a little worried, a little nervous about these this beef Wellington. It is uh I've been doing my research all week. I think I've got it down pat the way that I want to do it. Uh it's gonna be the best option for streaming and for feeding the fan. So I, I think I've got it all concocted. We've got a We've got notes. we got a time card here so that we can get this stuff rolling and make sure that we're on task with what we need to do. There's a couple different pieces here, and it, music a tad loud. I got you. It's because it's that good, good, good One Piece music. Appreciate that, though. But there's a lot to do. There's a couple different steps, quite a few different steps into this. Uh, but we're also going to do some... Leonese potatoes that we got a recipe for, uh, thanks to a recipe reborn. We got the George Brown College Culinary uh, recipe for the welly and for these potatoes. So we're gonna do the both of them together. Um, but there's quite a bit into this. So the first thing I really want to do is get the potatoes going. Uh, after that, we're gonna go into the brown sauce that we're gonna need at the end for the for the whole big guy coming together. Booker Lane, how we doing now? Doing well, doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. We're just doing the quick rundown here of, of what it's going to take to get this this monumental request uh, accomplished today. I think I've got a task that's going to make it beautiful, but it's going to be make or break today. We're going to see. <laughs> so like I said, we're going to start with the potatoes. we got to go into the brown sauce. Then we got to go into our duck cell, uh, which is our are filling around the filet uh, in between that and the puff pastry. Then we're going to get our beef boys out, get them seared up, wrap it all up and get it into the oven. And then we should be good. It's probably going to be about 20 minutes in, maybe 20 minutes out to rest. We're looking for a medium rare to medium here in this household. Uh, so 135, 140 ish is where we're looking at. We want it to be a little red. Not all the way bleeding, but also not all the way dried out. But yes, so there is a lot, lot to do. Hi, Spring Drake. How you doing now? It was good, uh, good seeing you doing some of that uh, act razor today. It definitely brought some nostalgia for me. Is on the list. As soon as I rebeat Ocarina enough time, I may have to jump and uh, go buy it myself. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm losing stuff. So today is going to be a whirlwind. Good, awesome. I'm glad to see everybody here. It's awesome. It's, love everybody stopping through. But we are going to be a rolling masterpiece today. We're going to have to keep on task and keep it going if we want to eat any time uh, close to before after sundown here. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, like I said, we're going to start with the potatoes first. Uh, I don't have these recipes because they are a... Uh, college recipe 
uh, from a textbook, so I cannot share them, unfortunately. I don't have a good link for it. But uh, if you follow along, maybe it will show them along the way. And the Leonese potatoes, I'm sure there's other recipes, the beef bellies. Uh, I put the Gordon Ramsay one, because I figured that's what everybody was going to, to go for. Um, I'm not sure I can live up to the Gordon Ramsay standard today. Today is our first attempt, so we're going to give it all we've got, but we'll be unsure though if we're an idiot sandwich or not by the end of it. We're going to find out. <laughs> so with that said, let's jump on over here. Let's get some potatoes going. we got to get some potatoes and onions out. Uh, we're going to get potatoes boiled up. Just not all the way cooked. We still want them to be a little hard because uh, they're going to cook in the oven as well. But we're also going to get us some onions done up, get them browned, get them nice and caramelized, and get them uh, good to go. You got it. Awesome. So let's get that. Let me switch over here. But boom, we switched. Oh, we're still messing with this camera. There we go. <laughs> Got to get like a marker for it so that I know exactly where it needs to sit. So we've got about equal pounds of potato and onion. There is a lot of onion in this dish, uh, and that's okay. Hey, Space Junkie, how are we doing today? Hope your Sunday is treating you okay. Same, Saf, I same, I love them. With some nice old brown onion, guys. Been trying to use our Reasonable produce bags. Trying to get a little better here and there. Little things we can do. Good, been a busy day. Understand, sir. Understand. It's been a busy weekend in this household. We uh, we have been on the move and getting things done. We got our spring clean done last weekend. Now we took care of the outside uh, this weekend. So we got our garden beds turned. We got our lawn mowed. We got all of our stuff set up. So hopefully next weekend can be a chill weekend and. Relax just a little bit. Just 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 a little bit. <laughs> Let's get our knife out. Get a quick home. Shouldn't need a sharpen, but I like to hone it before I use it. It's never a bad idea to get the teeth in line. Let's get a small pot going for these some more. We'll get some water going for these. I'm gonna get these potatoes washed. Uh, I'm gonna cut a line in them, and then, like I said, boil them about till they're about two thirds done, maybe 10, 15 minutes, so they're not all the way soft. They're still gonna be a little hard. Uh, but with cutting the line, it should make it easier to peel the skin off. And that'll make them nice and soft to go in with these nice caramelized brown onions. because you don't need to see the potatoes boil, do you? We're going to do the onion caramelization. That's going to be way better. But yeah, it's been a very busy weekend here. Uh, but it's also been a beautiful weekend. Yesterday was like mid to high 70s. Today is very similar. Just about 70 degrees. A nice chill in the breeze. Gonna take it for all it's worth, and then this week I think it's supposed to be slightly chilly and rainy, so hopefully our flower beds and our garden beds stick. So let's let's get a poll here. Let's uh let's see. Doris, do you know how to start a poll? Can we start a poll and see how many people here have actually had beef Wellington before? I've had it once before, maybe twice. Uh, it is not something that is always on the menus, so it's not an everyday occurrence, obviously. 
And you see for this, just kind of turning the potato in my hand. Oop. We're just cutting a line basically, but not very deep, just enough that it punctures the skin. But when it comes out boiled and done, it'll be a whole lot easier to peel. You can't do that? I haven't given you the options to run a pole? Okay. Alright, once I get these potatoes and stuff in, then I'll get them in there. So let's get these in the water. Alright, we need to keep an eye on those. Well, let's, get our, let's get our actual towel out. There we go. That way we're not using paper towels all day. Trying not to do that. Okay, these are going to be, be nice and thinly chopped up. Uh, Alright, let me do that poll now while I'm thinking about it. I believe you can, Doris, but I just don't think you know how to, and that's okay. Yes. Yes, how does it... Open a step. So yes, there we go. Start the poll. No, why does it not want to do this? We're doing it live. Why isn't slash pull? I thought it was slash pull that worked. There we go. Wellington before. So the question. There we go. Yes. Let's run it for like five minutes. There we go. Poll is out. So if you've ever had a beef Wellington, I'd like to know. Just taking a quick poll, we'll see who's here. I said I've had it once or twice before. Uh, it was always at a restaurant. It's never been homemade for me. Uh, so, this will be a first. Uh, I think I have attempted it once before with a round eye roast. Uh, just to see because it was a much cheaper cut of meat than to do a full tenderloin. And I'll get to that a little bit later. But it was... <laughs> it kind of failed miserably. The bottom kind of came out. There wasn't anything to wrap it and keep it in. So... It was interesting at that point. I think at this point we've done a lot more research. Uh, we should be coming up with a much better product this time around. Oh, forgot our, need our trimming bag. So I try and reuse the bags and I'm able to clip them on down here. So we have a nice easy storage for that stuff. You know what, let's give it one more quarter. And then if we can get a nice thin slice on these, that should be perfect. Do, do, do. Gotta love the One Piece songs when they come up in this playlist. Trying to enjoy the Sunday here. I know it's winding down. It's always tough. Thinking about what needs to be done on that Monday. But I welcome you in. Relax for a moment. Put some of those cares and uh, concerns aside for just a few minutes. Hang out with us. stew down real nice. Hey oh Mikey Six Gun, how we doing? We're just uh, getting started here. We're getting some Leonese potatoes going and 
taken a poll to see who's had beef wellington before. Not much, my guy, not much. Just enjoying this Sunday afternoon. Just talking a little bit about the uh, the gardening projects that we've taken on here. Hopefully it will bear some fruit or vegetables in that, for that matter. We'll see. Alright, you know what? We can get these into the Dutch oven and get them starting to brown. So much work to make them. It is. It really is. A, a, that's what I'm a, finding out now. This is my first time uh, really making them on this attempt. I think I figured out a formula to, to make it work. We're going to go with it and see what happens. Uh, but this is real first attempt, so we're hoping for the best. Get these guys in there. Oh, you know, let's bring our. Be a whole lot easier if I just brought them over. Why well, am not dragging onions halfway across the kitchen? Would you call it a secret formula? Wouldn't call it a secret formula, doors. No, it's more of a uh, a layman's uh, a prop. Uh, the, or as it could be considered sometimes the country style when it's done a little bit rougher, uh, a little bit not as elegant as they say, but still just as tasty. Ooh, yeah, that guy, we don't want that little bits in there. <laughs> We're cheating on that, Mikey. We're definitely cheating on that. It's, uh, We've seen it. We've seen the rough puff. Uh, I'm not sure that the, the the juice is worth the squeeze on that one. These onions are a little rough in the middle, which is kind of concerning on this guy. Yeah, we're not quite sure that we're with it. All right, so the poll has ended. We've had two no's, two maybes, and one yes. Okay. So a good split of people uh, have had it and haven't, so... Good to know. Like I said, it's been a while. I've only had it once or twice in my entire lifetime, so it's not a, uh, it's not an everyday dish, as you will. <laughs> Hella smarts, yes. Trying to get these nice thinned out onions. Right? Yeah. Do you love me? <laughs> Do I love you? Yes. I feel like this is a trick question. <laughs> Will you hand me a butter knife and the butter, please? <laughs> Not a question, but a favor. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be quite a bit, so we're trying to stay on task today. Uh, we're getting the potatoes going first. Uh, duck cell lined up next. Then we need to get our brown sauce going, our pepper sauce. And then we're going to round it all out. Uh, we're getting everything wrapped and into the oven. Strips should go well with the potatoes, uh, which are not boiling just yet. Keeping an eye on those though. Is this for the potato caramel onion thing? This is for the potato lanes. I'm super excited for that. Same. I like caramelized onions and potatoes, so I don't think it can go really wrong, really. We're gonna find out though. No, I've uh, linked in the Gordon uh, recipe because I figured that would be the one that most people would want. Uh, but I am actually using one from uh, George Brown College uh, University in uh, Canada. I was able to uh, snag that thanks to Lemon Drop. Uh, she shared the video, which I was able to watch him actually make them uh, and the potatoes as well and find the recipes for it. But unfortunately, I don't have the... The authority to share said things. Alright, our potatoes are boiling. 
give him about 10 minutes. Hey, Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Sure, 10 minutes. Starting now. into this and we'll get some uh, olive oil as well. Get them broke down. Right, so that's why I figured everybody would be the most uh, acclimated with the Ramsey one. I know there would be some association. Uh, that is not why I'm doing this. Uh, this is actually a request in our exclamation point dinner. Uh, thanks to Tiki Gone Wild. been doing some requests here lately we did uh last week we did country captain chicken uh thanks to tom and mike in the chat so that was a knockout love that the curry and the chicken and then this week is the like i said the beef volatine thanks to tiki gun wild because I am going to, once these are all done up, the potatoes are going to go in there as well, and they are going to go into the oven together. Uh, so the Dutch oven is going to be perfect for this uh, because I wanted to use my bigger nonstick for when I do the beefy boys. I'm going to give them a sear, and I want to use that because I want to make the pepper sauce inside that, trying to get them drippings up. Yeah, man, it was. it's a good one. It's I guess it's a mix of like Indian spice trade meaning like the south so you have all that different culmination uh, you have that kind of holy trinity of green peppers onions and celery and then you have the curry powder mixing in with that uh, and just the really nice fried and then braised almost uh, that chicken thigh is just delicious super good super super good it's definitely on the repeat I know me and Doors liked it uh, not everybody enjoyed it. Not everybody liked curry in the house, and that's okay. Everybody has different tastes. We're all different people. So me and Doors will definitely have that again at some point. Uh, unsure if everybody else will. And that's, like I said, that's all right. Well, I'm waiting on that. Potatoes are going, like I said, for about 10 minutes. So those are going, we're done with that. So I'm gonna put that away for right now. The other piece we need to go, oh yeah, we're gonna need a brown sauce. A little spicy spice life. Yeah. Oh, it's right, I still owe, thank you for reminding me there, Dolores. I still owe Tiki that step up the heat. So for those that don't know, step up the heat is our heat challenge here. We try and see how we go. Uh, <laughs> at the moment, our, our poison of choice is these extreme Carolina Reaper almonds nicely coated they're not bad by themselves but uh, here's the odds uh, I asked Google to pick a number between 1 and 10 and whatever that number is is that's what we eat so hey Google pick a number between 1 and 10 6 all right, six. Gosh dang. So you know that I'm not cheating you. Hold on. See, not cheating you. There's six. <laughs> All right. Bottoms up. <laughs> as soon as it hits the tongue, it's just hot. Toasty! Mm -hmm. Very toasty. 
<laughs> very, 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 very toasty. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. <coughs> I don't want to cough at the mic. Thank you for that step up the heat, though. Kickstart it, get things going. Really get things going. All right. Mouth is on fire! We're gonna get this. Sauce, I'm going. So this sauce is like a double stage sauce. I'm gonna need brown sauce, but then I'm gonna make brown sauce with this pepper sauce. And then it's gonna have a little cranberry sauce mixed into it. It sounds strange, I know. Just stick with me. The sauce should come out well. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat, with some fresh cracked peppercorns. We should be good. We should be good. Oh yeah, my beautiful caramelized onions. Let's go take a look at those real quick while we're waiting. thing. You did hear me just say cranberry, yes. Um, the sauce that I had, the, the recipe that we found it called for red currants, and red currants are not available here that I could find immediately. So we went with the next substitute, which is the cranberry sauce as well, which is very similar, or the jams. So yes, this is just going to be that, that peppercorn sauce on the outside. We're gonna give it a go. Give it a go. <laughs> but now I need to get the brown sauce together because it takes the brown sauce and basically builds on that. So we're going to the mother sauce. The, I'm gonna say this so wrong. Espagnol, espagnol sauce. The, the basic brown sauce. One of the five mother sauces. Basically like a brown gravy with some tomato puree in it. So, we need to get that piece going, and that will give it time while we're doing everything else. There's lots of layers here. There's chaos going on. Just stay with me for it. I promise it'll be okay. Espanol. Was it Espanol? Like, Spain, España, Espanol, Espagnol, Espanol. We'll go with Espanol. We'll go with it. Again, I'm awful with these. <laughs> All right. Get those up now, too. But we also need our... That, that. We need so many things. We need our bay leaves. Our dried thyme. We got our parsley, we got our whole peppercorns. Yep, yep, yep. We've got our butters. We got that little bit of onion. They want a carrot and celery as well. Ah, I think we're gonna skip that because we're not because we're not gonna go quite that deep. And they're only quarter cup anyway, so we'll put the onion, the flour, our beef stock, and then our tomato puree. Then we got two of those guys. Every time I think I'm out of Tamir Pitieri, there is some always in the fridge. Always. Lurking in there. Okay. 
All right, three cups of that. So again, I apologize if I'm scatterbrained today. It's bad enough that I'm normally scatterbrained, but this is just gonna take a whole nother level. If your meat has loafed yet, understood, sir. Let's check these potatoes. timer for 10 minutes. Sure, 10 minutes. And that's starting now. Oh yeah. Beef Ollie boys are well on their ways. So we're going to get one bay leaf. What do we do? We just... Split up so we can see it on either side. Need to make a quick satchel for all of our stuff. We're gonna melt our butter. Let's get our roux going. Let's do that first. Our clarified butter, that's right. One ounce. One ounce of the clarified butter. Wrong thing. Like the chalkboard thing in the back. Thanks, stores. I appreciate that. This is our new addition here on the island. On our kitchen island. We got these guys. Widget 33 kitchen. Well, I know it's hard to read, but it says exclamation point menu beef wellington. Proper meatloaf form just has to cool and set. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Mikey. That's the good stuff. But yeah, we've got our uh, contact paper up there, so we're able to get some chalkboard things. We're gonna work on that in the future. Maybe we can get a Bob's Burgers thing going, have a uh, a burger of the day or something. <laughs> Tablespoon of flour, like I said, we're just getting a little, little roux going, a little roux. Little suba roux. I said there's lots of moving pieces today, so we're gonna see how that goes. Hopefully we can keep it in line. figure out something. We'll have to figure out something. Yeah, the cheesecloth. There's a couple peppercorns there. Nothing crazy. A little bit of dry thyme is going to go into this once it's all nice and set. Four 
warm it up. All right, get up and get set up. All right, dude, I'd appreciate it. Have a have a good stream tonight. Um, we may swing by after we're done eating and stuff. Say hellos. I know you're playing the game of all time. Look forward to seeing what you got forward in the uh, Heaven's Word expansion. It's one of my favorites. Enjoys it. Say so check the socials. We'll post some pictures on there once she's all said and done. We're ready to go. How much time is this? We got half a teaspoon of dried thyme. All right, not a whole lot. Oh, playing a fresh tune. Okay, freshy fresh. The freshest of the fresh. <laughs> we'll enjoy it, sir. It's always a fun time. Uh, it is a little bit of a grind on the ARR, but it's worth it. You know the stories. You know the things. All right, we're going to get our sauce going here. We need three cups of our stock. tablespoons of this tomato paste. Alright, dude. Yeah, definitely. Have a great stream, my man. Love you. Have a good one. Two tablespoons. That's a lot of that stuff. There we go. Alright, so we got our Espanol sauce going, our basic brown sauce that we will use in our peppercorn sauce to taste these guys up. Uh, we're going to get our duck cell sauce started here shortly. We're just waiting on these onions to be done. Potatoes are probably close-ish. I'll give those potatoes just a moment to cool so I can get them peeled, uh, get them chopped up, and then get them into the uh, into the oven. Like I said, we'll start low. We'll go like 275 for when we're starting, and then we're going to step it up for our beef wellingtons when the time comes, because that's going to be 425. We're going to want our pastry to be puff, crunchy, and all the good stuff, but we're also going to want... Uh, our potatoes to be nice and cooked through. So about 275 to start. We'll crank it up when we're getting ready to put in those uh, pastries. The full puff, my man. That's right. So our brown sauce is going next to our onions. I know it's kind of hard to see. Better than no angle. So we got our brown sauce going back there, our onions going there, and we're rolling. 
for bowling. 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 Do 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 do. Potatoes about five minutes sure, sitting, uh, five minutes. not cooking, not just now. in the hot water. So we don't want them all the way done because we want them to cook in the oven with this stuff as well. is not really breaking up in there so I really want to get it mixed up so I'm going to use the whisk to get it done. There we go. Now we're good. Now we got no chunks. Everything is good in there. No need to worry about it. Oh, Alright, let's put our bay leaves away. We're not going to need these. Almost four. Perfect. Okay. About an hour in, you're going to get to see these beef volley boys. So, the beef wellington itself is normally done with a center cut uh, tenderloin uh, because it's one of the least used parts on the animal's body. It's usually very, very tender. That's why it's called the tenderloin. Uh, but it also helps it to be symmetrical in shape so that it cooks evenly through. So the center cut is it's usually tapered on both ends. It's the most expensive cut that you can get for that. Uh, when I was pricing these, uh, any guesses as to how much a good three to four pound uh, tenderloin, center cut tenderloin was costing? Um, to give you a ballpark, it's three digits. It's not two digits, it's three digits worth of meat. <laughs> $16. <laughs> yeah, my guy, we're way off on the $16, and that's okay. Uh, nope, so normally, like I said, it was about $120 was the... Yeah, $120 to $140 for just a tenderloin, and that was only about a 2 to 3 pounder. That wasn't even the center guy. So... We had to make some... We had to make some maneuvers, make things some happen. Make something happen. Let's make something happen. So we did. We did just that. And I'll show you how we fixed this problem. Okay, our brown sauce is looking good. Uh, I'm going to put a lid on it. turn our onions off. I'm pretty happy with those. You know, let's... I want a little bit browner. We're going to have to go high on our heat here for just a second. I want them to be a little bit browner before they go into all this. But, in the meantime, I will show you how we corrected this issue. So, obviously, $120 for a cut of meat. I, I couldn't swing it. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tiki. Couldn't do it. It's a lot of money for a chunk of meat, for especially for the first time. I couldn't do it. So this is what I've come up as a solution. We have our... Dun dun dun. Our tenderloin fillets. So we basically have individual beef wellingtons ready to be wrapped up here. Uh, we are going to discard our bacon here from our filet mignons, but this is basically the same cut, 
This is a six ounce cut with the meat, with the bacon probably gone, it's probably like closer to five, uh, which is a perfect serving size for those. So I have enough of them that we're gonna do individual beef wally boys, uh, AKA uh, beef Stephanie's. So I got enough of those. Wow, wow, look at all of them, look at all of them. Yeah, it is a big win right there. There's a lot of meat. This is a lot of tenderloin meat here, which is one of our, yes. So hopefully there should be enough for everyone in our house and possibly two left over. Okay, Google, stop timer. So there we are. This is what we're doing. Individual beef belly boys. The boys are back in town, if you will. So these I'm going to put back in the fridge for the moment because when the time comes, uh, unlike most other meats, I don't want them to be uh, chilled out throughout. I want them to stay colder because that'll make our lives easier and make sure that we ensure the temperature that we're looking to cook it, or cook it to. Yeah, man. There's all of our boys. So like I said, provided everything turns out okay, and which I'm assuming it should, there be a bunch of individual ones. Hopefully there's two left over that, if everything comes out right, the two will be coming your way. Just a little bit. Let's get these potatoes drained out and, and get them skinned. Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. Don't it, Willie? Yeah, yeah boy. boy. R.I.P. John Witherspoon. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping for the slap your mama. to chill and do their thing. Let's move our onions and stuff over. Our brown sauce is going to town back there, which is good. Whew. Okay. Alright, so now we've got a good point. We've got a good point. Let me switch over here so you can see me. It's all coming together. I was just going to say that. Everything's coming up Millhouse. We've got a good start. We've got we've jumped in here in the first hour. We've got our potatoes going. Our onions are good. Our brown sauce is being made right right there. Little brown sauce. Get that sweet onion smell, right? Yeah. 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 So now comes the next part. Uh, the duck cell, which is basically what is going to coat the outside of the beef wellington this is where we might lose doors i'm not sure basically we take prosciutto lay it down and then put this mushroom mixture that we had it's a small thin layer of mushrooms Monster. you can eat around them trust me you want to eat it <laughs> but the duck cell is basically what we're going to need to make next uh, I'm going to put this brown sauce away because we're good on that part now. Our pepper sauce, yes, we've got our pepper sauce menu up there, so that part is good. And our beef welly boys. Okay, so now we need to get our duck salad going. And this is going to be a mixture of mushrooms. Uh, I don't have liver pate, so we're not doing the liver pate, unfortunately. A little bit of cooking wine uh, and some small onion to go everything in there. Yes, everything is coming up Millhouse. So close. But, let me show you what we got. We got them gourmet blends. This is the best 
combo that I've seen for them. So the gourmet blend. So it has the cremini, aka the uh, baby bellas. You've got the oyster and the shiitakes in here. So we're looking at a good, good blend. Uh, we want these finely chopped up because we are going to get a lot of the moisture out of the mushrooms. We want them to be flavorful. We want them to be good. Uh, but we don't want them to be any kind of liquid. We're going to try and dry all of that liquid up inside that we're cooking with uh, and keep it trapped inside so that it doesn't leak out into the puff pastry. So let's get our mushrooms out. Let's get them nice and finely chopped up. We'll use our big knife. I mean, we're talking, we're talking small pieces here. See these? Like we're talking smallish. We really, really want them to cook down. So we're gonna crowd them a little bit. We're gonna have it really well cooked down. It's gonna give us a nice, nice flavor though. Like I said, this is just the outer casing around the welly. I don't even know if it wants to be called welly, but we're calling it welly. This is actually a new blend that they started carrying. I hadn't seen this before at Ralph's, so I was pretty happy with it. It's exactly what I was looking for without having to buy 10 million different things of mushrooms. Welly the Wellington. I like that. <laughs> it's like Fudgy the Whale. Welly the Wellington. Oh yeah. Scrape it out just a little bit. about eight ounces in total of these mushrooms but nothing too too crazy it looks like there's a pretty good mix in here I didn't think it was actually gonna be no I didn't think it would be that well mixed up I figured it'd be a bunch of baby Bellas as they were the cheapest one in that bunch but Looks like they did us alright. Mushrooms all chopped up. Nice and good to go. Alright. Let's get some onion. A yeah, small onion to go with this. I thought I had one more. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold. Yep. Just a little bit of onion. Again, this isn't going to need a lot uh, because we already have those onions going with the potatoes. Uh, this is just going to be the filling that's around the uh, the beef belly boy. I'm going to want to get this really nice and finely chopped up. So I'm going to go half again like I normally do. We're going to do our, our lines. Not a whole lot, just enough. All right, let's get these guys into a pan. There we go. All right, 
What does it say? It says... Butter until soft. So they just need a little bit of butter. We're going to make them soft until they're full to be soft. And then we're going to put in our cooking wine and go from there. And then mostly reduced. We're going to basically, like I said, we're trying to get all this liquid out of the mushrooms. That's our key in, uh, thing here to do. To keep that layer between the puff pastry and the meats nice and dry. So let's get a little bit of, a little bit more ghee in there. a moment and switch back over so you can actually see what the hell I'm doing. That would probably be a good idea. There we go. So our brown sauce is going in the back there. We're getting ready to get our mushrooms in here and get these guys really well done out. And I believe that's all that's in our duck sauce. Just the mushrooms, the onions. It would get a little bit of, uh, like I said, of the foie gras, the, the liver pate, but I could not find any and I, I didn't know that everybody in my house would do it so uh, the mushrooms could be happy with that and i i know and i need to do you a mushroom dish at some point maybe we can do stuffed portobellas or something like that when we have another uh, veggie week or something be a good one on the list you can request that in exclamation point dinner there h balser 33 <laughs> Mix it up just a little bit. Okay, so these guys are good. <laughs> I heard the delay in the house and watched it travel. And then I heard the laugh. <laughs> it's a great thing when you're a streamer. <laughs> Well, that's going. I need to do the next piece. I need to pull the puff pastry out. Pepperidge Farms, remember? And that's what we're using today for our guy. Uh, we're going to get it defrosted. The way you defrost it is you pull it out of the box. It is wrapped yet again in a white plastic guy. So we want to open that up. Just so that it can vent, basically. We're going to have to give it about 40 minutes at room temperature. We don't want to rush it. Uh, if we rush it, it'll crack. And that's a pain in the butt. Uh, if we wait too long, it'll get gooey and sticky. And it'll be a pain in the butt to work with. Uh, it is going to have to come down a little bit in thickness. Because they do come out a little thick. A little thicker than I like. One of the few rare occasions where something like that happens. But it does happen. So, like I said, we'll wait. We should be good when we get everything down into the time and our, our welly boys are ready to be wrapped. Our, our dough should be basically thawed and ready to go. If I have any additional left over, which I'm kind of hoping I do, I've got a, a wedge of brie in there. And thanks to Sarah, we had the idea that we're going to wrap some brie in some puff pastry and then put it in the oven and then top it with some of our fresh homemade strawberry preserves that we've done two Wednesdays in a row now. We made them that was that good. It's about a half a jar left from Wednesday, which means we made a half a jar the first time, a full jar the second time. So we've already gone through one complete one and we're almost through this one. Yeah. mushrooms doing Come on. I think I need a little more oil than that. Maybe 
me a little more butter. A little more ghee. What should they use? See, it doesn't even say. It just says saute in butter. So, no accurate measurement on that one. They're just assuming that we know. We're just going to add a little more. And that's okay. Check our potatoes. Oh yeah. These are almost cooled. I'll give them a moment and then I'll show you the nice little trick with these guys that we boiled up. Uh, our onions are almost ready. We're really just waiting on our duck cell here, which is our mushrooms, uh, to cook down and get a lot of that moisture out so that it doesn't transfer to our dough. Who knew there was this much science with beef wellington? I didn't know. I really didn't know. When I signed up for it, I was like, oh, it can't be too bad, you know. I'd go and get like a 30 or $40 roast and wrap it up in this puff pastry, which made banging sausage rolls with. Yeah, that was not the case. <laughs> that was not the case. Big smorts. Yeah. It's all right. Things worked out. Things happen for a reason. We keep moving forward, as they say. Oh, yeah. All right. Come on. Cook down. So again, the name of the game today is we are not rushing. We're trying to be on time, but we're not rushing. Everything's going to take time. Uh, if we allow things to cool, it's going to make our lives easier when this is all said and done. Uh, the mushrooms that we're cooking up now, this duck cell, when that's all said and done, we're going to let that cool down uh, to room temperature almost, which will make it easier because we got to roll these beef belly boys up. Uh, and so if it's cooler, it's going to make our lives easier. We've also got some prosciutto that we're going to wrap around it as well and kind of seal the deal and have it all in before it goes into the puff pastry. So there's layers of this one, uh, just like there's layers to all the things that we've got going. We've got the potatoes going, we've got a brown sauce going for the pepper sauce, we've got the filling going for it. Layers. Like ogres and onions, we've got layers. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pickle rack. Pickles are on that list there, Doors. Uh, we will have cucumbers in our garden that we were messing around with on Saturday. So pickles will definitely be made here on stream. Whether they're all grown here, probably not. I'll probably go to our Korean grocery store and get some of their pickling cucumbers, uh, the Persian ones, and do a bunch of those. But the pickling process and the canning process is something that I would like to cover and know, share the knowledge as we grow together with it. Oh yeah, now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. At least it looks like we're getting somewhere. Oh wait, it's that way. It's that way. Even though it's really not, it's that way. That's what we like to hear. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, well, that brown sauce is gone. It doesn't really matter. Let's take a look at these guys. You know, the, these beautiful mushrooms.
they smell delicious. I, I know doors, I know you don't like mushrooms, but these mushrooms smell delicious. I uh, love it. It's gonna add a nice umami flavor to this beef wellington and switch it up just a little. Uh, before you ask, yes, we are gonna coat it in Dijon mustard as well, because we can. Gosh dang it. Dijon mustard to get layered onto there. Like I said, there's so many different layers to this dish. Uh, that's why it is such a great dish when it's done right and why it is an expensive dish. It's an expensive cut of meat. It is a lot of time, a lot of prep. Uh, so many different things go into it. I can understand why it's charged so much for this dish at a restaurant. Right? It's one of those dishes that's, I mean, to prep for just, if you to do the traditional three and a half pound to four pound beef wellington, with the cut of, the price of meat and everything else as it is now, just ingredient wise, you're looking at at least 175, 200. Easy. Just for ingredients alone, not including cook time and prep time. Now that's for the whole roast. Usually if you're served at a restaurant though, you serve the slice. Uh, which is what we're going to kind of do here with the individual guy uh, is a roast that's done set aside and then they can warm it up and then basically bring it out for you slow tonight. A little slow tonight. That's alright. Tonight's about taking our time and getting it right. Uh, perfecting our craft, if you will. And that's what we're going to be doing. So I appreciate you all coming in and hanging out in the kitchen with me. I know sometimes while we're learning stuff and making these dinners, it's a little, uh, it's a little long. Uh, it's a little, uh, a little paste. But, uh, it's a good time still. It's been nice to do it. Uh, this is now, what are we coming up on? It's the 27th. So we've been almost four weeks without an adult beverage. Um, so staying good to our goals, staying good to that. We've got about another three weeks to go. And yeah, feeling good. Lost a little weight from it, so that's a good thing. A little more focused, a little more time to, to work at some back end stream stuff. Which we've got a couple more ideas coming for you guys. Thank you for that hype, Doris. I appreciate it. But a few more uh, treats coming your way. We're working on... <laughs> We're working on a dance. Uh, it's not going to be a long dance, but there is a dance redemption coming in. So, look forward to that. If you want to make me dance like a monkey, because I will. <laughs> okay, they're just about browned. I don't want them to brown all the way, but we did draw most of the moisture out of this. sherry in there. And how much are we looking at? This is two ounces. There we go. Gonna give that a moment to cook off. Maybe. 
smidge. Just a smidge. Stretch. Oh, thank you, Doris. I will take that in just a moment. Let's get our break in. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that, Doris. I really appreciate that. We're good. We're good. I think it's good. I'm going to let it sit there for a moment and do its thing. And while it's doing its thing, we're going to do our thing. Let's switch back over here. I'll show you them potatoes. Potatoes. Mikey Six Gun. Back here already. Y'all set up. Good to go. So our potatoes that we did, like I said, we didn't... Uh, cook them all the way through. We wanted them to be softer, but not fully done out. Uh, and we cut the line in them to make it easier to peel. So, we do, oh, sorry. Didn't mean smack the mic like that. Right, that wasn't a great sound, I'm sure. <laughs> See, the skin just kind of peels off with it now. What I like to use is Parry knife. Just kind of push it off. It's still, like I said, it's still just a little warm. That's okay. It should just come. Oh, oh, we almost lost a potato. Almost lost a potato. <laughs> Here we go, see? Nice, easy, peeled. Truly is a hot potato, Doors. Like a hot, hot potato. It's a hot, hot pepper, hot, hot, hot pepper. I'm just kind of scraping it off, literally. So we don't lose a whole lot of the meat of the potato. Like you would do if you're, you know, peeling them normally. There you go. Perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to get that into our, uh, put it over here so you can see it. We'll get that into our potatoes layonnaise uh, and get that done up goes. here. Sometimes she goes, sometimes it doesn't. She didn't go. It's the way she goes. It is the way she goes. Today she went. So thank you, Ray. Today she was a go. I appreciate it. It's always worrisome, though. You never know which day she's going to go. You just kind of have to ride it out and uh, take a chance, if you will. Take a ride on this life. Because you never know where it's going to take you or what it's going to do. Oof. Like, who would have thought we would have been here on Sundays? I wouldn't imagine my Sundays hanging out with everybody in my kitchen. Not like this. Family, yes, but friends and internet friends? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> but think of how much better it is now because of that. Oh, man, these are going to be so nice. Because I can feel them. They're just soft enough to, Trump. like... It's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. <laughs> she didn't go. It's the way she goes. Things had to be this way. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I said, look, it, it comes off all nice. So they're not all the way cooked through. They're still a little, little solid in the middle, which will make it easier when we're cutting them up. Uh, when they mix in with these onions and then go in... Uh, it's supposed to be a amazing taste. I love caramelized onions as it is. So then you want to put potatoes in it too. Like it just seems like it's going to be a good time. 
Oh. Tiki gone wild with four months. Sir. Thank you so much for that sub. I really appreciate it. Your support is, is always appreciated here uh, in the kitchen. And the sub helps out just that much more. So I really appreciate it. Every sub we get, all of our stuff goes right back into our kitchen. Uh, whether it be upgrades and stuff. So thank you so much. Enjoy the, those emotes. We're working on some new ones. But uh, let's throw some hype in the chat if we could. <laughs> Kapow. Stream elements needs ones. We'll get that. <laughs> I appreciate that, sir. I appreciate that. It's a labor of love. That's the way I look at it. Labor of love. So as long as you like what you're doing, then I don't mind doing that. And this is one of those things that I do love doing. I love cooking. I love cooking for friends. And I've really come to enjoy cooking on stream. It's been a creative outlet. It's helped with uh, some of my anxieties as well, my creative anxieties, to get back out there and do the things. This is the uh, the longest that I've ever run streaming. Oh man, Mikey Six Gun with a gift of stream elements. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Our stream elements has our hype commands now. You, would, I greatly appreciate it. Two Aries, uh, Elevator, you are the best. So much hype, look at it. Look at you stream elements with all your special emotes. Gotta love it. Thank you guys so much. I, I really, it's, uh, I can't tell you how much I do appreciate it. It's a crazy world out there. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad, but I feel like every time we get in this kitchen, we have a good time. And usually the world's just a little bit better. <laughs> you always remember my... I try to, because I get it. It's stupid that we, the small streamers, still have to pay to have our bots do the things. When you could just say the, f the people that are making lots and lots of money. If you're making over, say, 2k a month on, on stream, then maybe you should pay for your bots. You know what I mean? Help us little guys out. Just a little. <laughs> but I do appreciate this. I say it goes into the background. Uh, it goes into the time spent here. We've been trying to set up some new point redeems. We do have a dance coming. Please look forward to that. All of our meal prep here and this kind of stuff. It's all here for that stuff. That's right. It's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes it doesn't. She <laughs> didn't go. It's the way she goes. And sometimes that's just the way it goes. You're absolutely correct, Ray. All right, so I'm going to have these potatoes, and then I'm going to slice them up into chunks. So they're just a little... You see, they're not all the way done in the middle, which is good. That's what we wanted. Okay. We're going to throw them right into those onions. Wait, let me make sure first. I think that's right into the onions. Put a little salt and pepper, then we're going to get them in the oven and let them go. We're going to put a little parchment lid on them too so that they don't dry out. Uh, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Or a drop lid as they call it. Looking forward to this. So looking forward to this. What are we looking at time-wise? 4.30, okay. We're getting close. We've got our duck cell going. We've got our pastry thawing. We've got our potatoes ready to go into the oven. I would say that we are doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. That's what I would say. All right, let me bring it over here. Hey -o. 
see these guys. Let's get them. Oh, come on now. Separate out. Oh. Oh yeah. Basically just potatoes and caramelized onions together. They're gonna go into the oven. Just trying to make sure all my potatoes are separated so they all get surrounded by that nice good good while in the oven. So everything's pretty cool so it's not too hot to the touch. There we go. Alright, are we ready for the drop lid? I'll show you how I do it. We get our parchment paper. Get a sheet out. We get the lid to our Dutch oven. We got our Sharpie. There we go. Arts and crafts times, folks. We learned it in kindergarten, right? And what this will do is just help keep some of that from drying out. Keep a little bit of that moisture in because we've already taken a lot of it out. So we do want some of it to stay in. We did the same thing on the Country Captain Chicken when in the Dutch oven. Uh, the Dutch oven just, just make a lot more heat because it retains a lot of heat. And with that lid on, sometimes it can be drying out. So we're trying to avoid that. So we're back on. Oop, oop. You know what, we're going to put a little oil in there too. A little oil, a little salt and pepper. There we go. Couple cracks. There we go. Oh, these are going to be really good. They already smell good. There we go. Let's get them in our oven. Our oven's been at 275 the whole time, so we need to maneuver some stuff around in here. Our cast iron's still in there. Let's take that out. hopefully about an hour and a half letting them go probably even an hour letting it go we'll pull them out before we get the beef wellies in uh, just to check them again and make sure that they're good but whew, okay okay how we doing how we doing on time let's switch over here let's, let's have a chat for a moment I need a break whew, need a break it's a lot yeah. Perfect. Perfect timing, thank you. <laughs> There's a lot in today, so like I said, so we're going to take a couple breaks here and there. And I'm going to give it one more stretch. I think I need a... Oh, there it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of good cracks. We're getting old. We're getting old. But we've got all of our pieces in place now, right? Loud pop. Did you hear it? Did, did the camera, did the microphone pick that up? <laughs> I got the tummy butterflies. All right. All right. So 
we gotta do basically what we're gonna do now while everything is going so our our duck cell is off now let's get it to the side and cooling so that's good uh, we're gonna sear up these fillets and get them just seared we don't want to cook them through because we're looking for medium rare to medium we don't want to really cook them through that's why I kept them cold uh, we're gonna get a hot pan going we're gonna get a little bit of oil in it and then we're gonna hit it with the uh, the steak and the fillets and get them going good going back to the the FF XIVs glad to hear it dude I've been uh, I've been out of the loop for like two weeks I haven't been doing my dailies uh, I need to but I'm at the point now where like I need to raid if I want to continue to uh, get gear and I'm not quite at that point uh, mentally or time wise just yet and then I got sidetracked by another game too which always happens doesn't it <laughs> uh, actually Mike I don't know if you've heard this uh, it's uh, have you ever have you heard of Ascension it's uh it's like classic wow but it's classless like you can pick as you level up you get more spells and stuff it's, it's pretty cool i'm liking it. it for being free it's pretty decent all right so i need my big pan to get our beef volley boys in there so i'm gonna need some more for our duck cell to go That's enough. Yeah, it's decent. I would say that it's decent as well. Okay, so I'm just getting our mushrooms off there. Rules up a cat girl tank to play. Nice. Love the Bicotes. Uh, always a fan. That's what I am. I've got, uh, I've been enjoying the new class that they have with Endwalker. The Reaper has been really fun. I've been playing that on the side, and I've been playing the Dark Knight. I've got that Berserker energy going with the, the big old uh, battle sword. Not even a sword at that point, like the broad. I mean, what do you, what do you call that? What did, uh, what the guy in Berserk carry around? pan is going there. Let's swap over. Let me show you what's going on. Yep. Our pan's warming up. Let's get our steaks out. Alright, alright, alright. Steaks out. Duck salad going in the fridge. Plates. Some paper towels. Again, we're not trying to cook these through, we're just trying to sear it, help the flavor, and get it going. So, like I said, we're going to discard the bacon that's on these guys. We're not using the bacon. We have our own uh, prosciutto we're going to use. A nice, nice, nice little uh, fillet here. Let me 
scissors is going to be easier to chop into these guys. Big anti-horse sword. Yeah. It's freaking huge. But the Dark Knights in, in Final Fantasy, they get one of those as well. It's pretty cool looking. I'm, I'm liking that. You kind of call upon that will of the dark. It's a cool concept. I'm digging it. So again, these beef, uh, these little filet mignons are wrapped in the bacon and then stuck so that they stay together. Uh, we're gonna try and do the same thing. Hopefully our filets stay in shape. Get a couple of them seared up at a time. Get another nice one. I still need to finish Berserk. I started it. It's not exactly a family friendly one, so I need to be opportune about the times I pick to watch it. Oh, see, they did me dirty on this. My fillet has come across. <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> A little bit of vegetable oil on this guy. There we go. All right, I'm gonna be quick about it. We'll get them on there. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. And these are just going to be a quick sear. By the time that I have all these in the pan, it'll be time to flip them. And then not much longer after that, I'll roll them around. Get all the sides kind of seared in. And get it out. Up a stream, all right, man. Have a great stream. Like I said, we will most likely be stopping by. But your belly can never burn. I appreciate that, sirs. We're hoping for that medium to medium rare. But you know how it goes, you never know. <laughs> Have a great stream, though, sir. All right, we've made a mess all over this counter. Right. Where she goes. Sometimes she goes, Where sometimes she, goes. she doesn't. She didn't go. Where she goes. Okay. Okay. Alright, we need to get some flipping here. Let's get our mess cleaned up first. Alright, let's get them flipped. Again, we're not trying to cook these, we're just trying to, to sear that outside, sear it in. Uh, we want a medium rare to medium when we're done, all said and done with these guys. So just a quick sear in the pan, we'll go, they're going to come right out, and then pretty soon we're going to get to wrapping these beef wellies. Say by 5 o'clock probably we'll be pretty close to wrapping the beef wellies. It's going to move quick here. Going to move quick. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this bacon now. Kinda wanna throw it in the uh, potatoes, Leonese. 
Sounds like mayonnaise, but it's not. It's layonnaise. <laughs> I know that's just me. But I will store up a sandwich bag. Probably two sandwich bags worth of bacon here. I said, name of the game is not cut through, just sear. And again, this is our first time making the beef Wellingtons. Uh, we've only done one attempt before that was like a, a half attempt. So this is our first real, true, full attempt here at the Beef Welly Boys. That's what I've been calling them. But they're basically uh, Beef Stephanies, which is an individual Beef Wellington. Prosciutto and the duck sol is basically what these bellies are going to get wrapped in. Let's give our dough a check. Oh. Okay. They're still slightly frozen. That's okay. I need just a little while longer on them, that's all. Oh, maybe not these guys. Okay, okay. those are pretty close. A little closer than I thought. Okay. We're in a good positions here. All right, let's flip these. Okay. Maybe that's about as much as I really want to cook them because I don't want to overcook them. See, they jipped me on that one. Oh, that's okay. I got it. Oh. All right. So they are out. They are resting. We're going to let them do their thing and cool down for just a moment while we start prepping our other pieces. Clear our board. Now let's clear our mess. You need some? Oh, oh, we're sticking a little back there. Okay, let's get some flour down on this guy. Take our slightly sticky boy here. Slightly sticky. So there we go. Just slightly wet still. What did I do with that? There it is. So hopefully with something like this, we're going to need to get at least two per, per sheet that we have here. Because we got about four sheets. We've got about seven of these steaks in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So we're going to need to get at least two per the uh, sheet. Just going to, like I said, lightly floured it out. Let's 
guy is definitely a little, a little easier to roll than our last guy. Make sure we're not sticking or anything. Uh, additional goes off. bed. So if we cut that proper clean off here, proper clean off is going to be good. I know doors. That's what I'm hoping. Put camera that. There we go. I said we got to get at least two per That's good. You know what? I might actually be able to get four per. That might not be impossible. Nope. Yeah. Might actually be able to get four per with that. Okay. Okay. I think we're ready to start wrapping some beef welly boys. towel over them while they're doing their thing all right are we ready to start layering are we ready to ogre it up that's the ones in the four corner right okay good Let's move that out of the way so we can see our our main guy here there we go yeah yeah okay uh, we're also going to need some egg wash here Ooh, we're getting close there tiki we're getting close We are going to make an egg wash. This is just going to be one egg and like a quarter cup of uh, milk. Nothing too crazy. This is what's going to help us seal it in. Seal the deal, if you will. We want it to be really well beaten into. wash. It'll help us seal it and then we'll actually put a little bit on the outside too which will help it brown and do its thing. There we go. Cool. Okay. Let's see if we got this right. bit of prosciutto Let's see how many pieces they actually gave me of this because you never know in these things how much how many slices there actually are you mean on screen or in your room yeah in your room okay then is there anything going on no i just heard popping noises from where all around they mostly came from the door that might have just been the breeze shaking the door i don't know bro i don't know <laughs> yeah so is there probably going to be about a half of one of these Let's see. There we go. Layer of our prosciutto. Layer of our mushrooms. Doors' is favorite. There we 
go. Let's get our Nothing going on. All right, let's check our beefy boys. Let's do our night, our first one, nice, right? Trying to get this guy. Cover him. A little bit of the mustards. There we go. All right. So if I put a little on top as well. Thank you for the hydrate there. <laughs> Lemon in here. Delicious. Okay. We're going to try our corner technique. There we go. I'll fold it over nicely. Oh, I was an idiot. Come back out. We were close. I was really close. It's okay. You know what I forgot? The egg wash. I went through all that trouble to make the egg wash. And I didn't use it. <laughs> and it shows. Alright, so that first one goes in the corner. There we go. Now that guy should stick. Let's give it that guy. Let's give that guy. We tuck these corners. And there is our. Whew, one beef welly down. <laughs> Get them onto their sheets. So close yet so far, right, Doris? That's what it feels like. Well, that's not our heat sheet. Where's our heat sheets? Where's my dang? Heat resistant things. resistant pads are so I can get these guys. Oh, they're in here. That's what they are. Okay, yep. Should have known. Should have known. Okay, we're on track. We're on track. Oh, oh. There we go. One down, six more to go. Let's get this rolled out just a little bit more again. Get back to where it was. Need to get this a little bit thinner. Yeah, there's like two layers of the prosciutto in there. I'm trying to thin it out just a little bit, a little thick. A little thick. You got this. I appreciate that, Doris. I really do, man. I don't know if I tell you enough, but I do appreciate it. It's right there. It separates. There it is. Ugh. This is my only issue with prosciutto. It's so thinly sliced that it's such a pain to get to come apart.
Wish there was an easier way to do that. All right. Just gonna piece in our prosciutto on at this point. This is the only thing we can get it to work with. Which is fine, it's just gonna build a layer between our pastry and our meat. That's all we really needed to do. That nice little layers. Fingers crossed. Yes, fingers crossed. Layers. Onions have layers. <laughs> Ogres and onions, they both got layers. This has got a ton of layers. For the Shrek meal for sure. A little bit of that. Remember our egg wash this time, not like a dummy. All right, we go corner to corners. So our first corners, our seconds, our thirds. And our fourths. We fold the other corners up. Oh yeah. Oh man. Okay, I know it's only two, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It's a good night. I appreciate everybody coming in. I know Sundays are tough. I've said it a million times. I know it's the day before the work week starts for most of us, but Sundays are a good time here. And I appreciate everybody stopping through and doing their things, and hopefully we're making your Sunday just a little bit better before you got to get back into the chaos and the madness, you know? That's what we're shooting for. Let make sure I got enough prosciutto to last for this whole thing. Coming very close to not. Very close to not. We're gonna make one without. Uh, there is a non beef eater in the house, so we'll make one without. Tooth! What is going on, my man? What is going on? Give me that beef volley. If you were here, I would send a beef volley your way because we're making individual uh, beef volley boys. They're like 10 times better than the island boys. We're just now getting them layered up. You're coming for the good, the fun part now. We're putting them together. They get a little bit of prosciutto. They get a little bit of our duck cell, which is our mushroom mix-up. We get them spiced up in a, in a little Dijon mustard. We're painting them up. Little paints. Little paints. Yeah, our filet there kind of fell apart, so this guy's going to be a little, uh, a little jank, and that's okay. Where's our towel? There she is. The welly life. <laughs> right? That welly life. Alright. Egg wash corner to corner. And that's our big boy, so maybe we'll do that guy last. So we go corner to corner to big corner. Yeah. To that corner. And we just pull all of our corners up, turn it over, we get it on our board. So there we go. Tooth is since you're just coming in, we got three guys on here doing their thing. We're hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Yeah, it was the smartest idea that we could do. Uh, it was still a, an expensive dish, and that's okay. But it could have been much more expensive had we gone with a full center cut sirloin, uh, which is your traditional roast that you see and all the, the famous things and whatnot. Uh, that is a hundred and twenty to hundred and forty dollar cut of meat. It's just a little expensive, a little bit, just a little. And as we are learning, and we are not the great Gordon Ramses, we uh. We cannot replicate. And now since I got a couple of you guys in here, fellow streamers, what uh, I'll show you guys the newer trick. Y'all see the uh, these black cabinets behind me? Right above my microwave now? 
go be rolling through and just try it. You say that, but maybe we'll put it on TikTok. But we have a nice little addition here to the, uh, the kitchen. Let me show you that real quick. These guys. We've got some chalkboard uh, contact paper we are able to set into our cabinets here. So now we have fully functioning chalkboards. Uh, and we plan to do the rest of these guys up as well. So that way, rather than having the marquee or something like that, which I considered... Uh, oh, you don't want to see my dirty pan. I figured that would be a nice little touch so I can keep some interesting things up there, whether it be new commands, uh, the different widget stuff. So, nice little easy addition here. Thanks to the Home Depot. The doers, not savers. <laughs> All right. Corner. Let's try this one on this one. Corner to corner. Then the far guy. Like I said, it's getting a little warm, so it's a little stretchy. Well, that's okay. Oh, oh right. That could have been bad. <laughs> I still didn't see that, but that could have been bad. That could have been a floating disaster. Oof. <laughs> Off screen. Saved by the bell. All right, let's get our work area cleaned up. We're going to need another puff pastry. We're going to have enough. It looks like we are going to do Sarah's recommendation. We're going to wrap up some brie and then in some puff pastry and bake it and then put some strawberry jams on it, preserves that we made. Upgrades, people. Upgrades! Accident. I know I was thinking about doing a drop command or an accident or something. I need to do something like that. But Doors wants to go all, uh... Oh yeah, my man. Oh yeah. Just a little. A little wedge of uh, big debris, you know? Doing the little things. Oh, see, I think this has gotten almost too warm. See how it's sticky? How was the battery there we go. But we didn't crack it, which is good. Let's get it rolled out just a little bit. Not a whole lot. Always moving forward. The most important part, sir. Uh, that is absolutely correct. Well, let me say. Let me let me let me come over because I want you to know the seriousness. Of this. I don't know who's doing that crap out there on the internet with these hate raids and this awful shenanigan crap. But you picked the wrong guy. You couldn't have picked a nicer dude on the internet, doing his thing, helping his friends out, building a community. It's kind of BS that it came down to that. So, sir, I'm really sorry you're going with that, but know the community has your back still. We're here for you. I can't look forward to the next stream. Like, I, I can't wait for that to happen when we see that next stream, Tooth Going Live, right? We got you. Just wanted to say that. I wanted it out there. Now look at my dirty pan. Now back it here. Now back in my dirty pan. <laughs> of course, dude. Of course. Like, like I said, you, you've always had our backs, and we, it's our turn to have yours. So from uh, each roll, <laughs> coming back strong. Oh, all right, that's what I wanted to hear. That's what I like to hear. All right, so we get about four per sheet of the puff pastry, which is good. All right, so we, we know the deal now. Prosciutto down. Prosciutto brown. Doug Judy, <laughs> I wish you were alive, Doug Judy. God will give you a high five, Doug Judy. <laughs> R.I.P. Doug Judy, who's not really dead in that episode, but acts like he is. Doug Judy. All right, let's get our fillets on. We got about two mores here. Toasty! 
<laughs> it is a toasty in here, that's for sure. The rent supports is stronger than this hate, and that's what love is all about. Absolutely, my dude. You, you nailed it. I couldn't have said it better myself. It was cool to see you on and doing the things, even though I heard something about a Minecraft server. Uh, I'm not a Minecraft person, so I don't know what was going on. Uh, but I look forward to that. Oh, egg wash. Egg wash dummy, that's me. I'm the egg wash dummy, because I forget to put egg wash on things. Smells good. Yeah, thank you. A couple of the Teen Titan ones I definitely want to get into the rotation. Uh, like I said, I just need some some background time to get some of those things going. Alright, so this is the last one with the prosciutto. There's going to be one without because we have a non-pork eater in our house. So she will get the non-guy. Yep. Wash. All right, corner to corner, corners to corners, corner to corners, corner to corners. Yep, 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 yep. So close. All right, last one. Oof. We've done it. Got griefed, blown up on Friday too, but no jokes that I restore five minutes because of. Okay. That's cool then. Just a bad coincidence. Okay. Alright, that, that's. And that sucks. That's one of those things that takes time, it takes all of that, but at least there are backups from griefers, man. Like, what is going on out there? What is this world coming to? I feel like it's the back in my day. A little bit of mushroom. You know, just about the right amount of mushrooms when I did that. I'm glad I went with the eight ounces and not the four. The last bit of the mushrooms. Egg wash, egg wash dummy, egg wash, that's me, egg wash. Constant reminder. Corner to corner, corner to corners. Look at this. Wait till you see these guys. See this all-star lineup that's sitting over here and enticing me the whole time. So I'm going to do the four corners, get them folded, and are you ready? Y'all ready for this? Do 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 Put in an L and the one that is for my daughter. And I'm gonna take two of them away. Two of them will be going out. Reddit, everything turns out well. Put those in the freezer. So we'll be baking with just the five. All right. Hey, Brooklyn Land, welcome back. 
All right, we've done it, my dudes. We have wrapped them. We got like one more slide over here. Maybe let's get this brie in. Uh, but let's check our potatoes first. Checking potatoes. While we're thinking about it. can sit back there and those will be good to go. I like the way they are right now as is. So we're we'll looking at 425. Oof. That was our brown. Oof. About 520. I was, a little, I was close. I was pretty close. It is a hard meal booker. I appreciate that. It is a... Uh, one of the more advanced things that I think I've done here on stream. Uh, was not prepared for it. It is a uh, momentum, a monstrous momentum. All right, my dirty pan. I know we're looking at a dirty pan. Let me switch it over here real quick. Let me go back to me. Uh, I need to take like two minutes. I need to use the restroom real quick. Uh, getting the oven preheated. We're going to 425 with these beef welly boys. We've got the five of them ready to roll. Uh, once they go in, they're going to take about 20 minutes. We're looking for like 125-ish, somewhere in there. Uh, we don't want to overcook these. We want medium rare to medium. We don't want well done. We're trying to avoid that. So let me use restroom real quick. I'll be right back, and we will set up the beef wellies in there. We'll get the sauce done, and maybe we'll get some brie into the oven as well. Who knows? Stay tuned. Find out. All right, all right, all right. We got it, we got it. We're coming back to you. Boom. Coming back to me. Where's my hat? I'm sweating. I got one. I had it. I just took it off. Sweating to death in the kitchen. Ugh. All right, real quick. Let's get this. We didn't actually end up using this other guy, and I kind of feel like I need to use it now within today or tomorrow. You know what? We'll use the big guy then. Since we got to use it anyway, let's use a big one. Let's wrap this brie up. Oop, oop. Let me 
smear it up just a little bit. Get our product out of there. Get a little roll on it. This rolling pin is definitely a little nicer. We had a French style rolling pin. We had a weird metal one before. Oh, oh, we're sticky. We're a little warm. We're a little warm. What? Uh, tampering and raking is ruining it. Uh, again. There we are, a nice chunk of brie. I'm gonna switch over so you can actually see what I'm doing again. I have smarts. Don't steal walnuts off the banana. Yeah, you don't steal nuts, bro. That's right. You gotta earn those nuts. <laughs> Dang. We're going to these nuts jokes. That's where we're at, everyone. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Sunday. All right, we're gonna cut some of this brine off, though. Let's get a nice little. Oop. Let's get a nice little. Looks like we're just waiting on our uh, stove to warm up right now. Once that's warmed up, we'll get our beefy boys in. Right now we're just preparing some brie. I am cutting the rind off the top at least. Get most of it. Same thing with the bottom. Just because it is baked, so it'll be a little bit easier with the brine off. the top of our beef wellington as well okay. hopefully brie we're gonna bake some brie son oh, that, was, that was like the worst fold ever i feel like a you know, first time smoker there never wrapped anything it was awful it was awful on my part. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to witness such an event. It was not my best attempt. I promise. Hmm. Right, because we don't need all this dough. That's all right. Pinch it together. Pinch it together. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's what we're hoping for, Booker Lane. We're hoping so. So we'll do that on a separate sheet once the uh, the beef wellies are done. Let's bring those guys over though. Let's get them egg. Whoa, whoop, knife down. Now we're dropping stuff. This and this. There we are. So there's our individual beef welly boys. Let's get them nice and egg washed. That'll give them that nice golden color when they're all said and done. There's a lot of Beastie Boys ones too that we could do easily. And we'll leave the last bit of that for the brie. Okay, so we're going in at 425 for 20 minutes. Uh, we're gonna check it at 10 to 15 minutes in. We're not trying to go higher than medium rare medium. So like a 125, 130 when we check the temp cause it's gonna have to sit for like 20 minutes and do its thing. So probably even 120 to 125, all right? We're heated up. We're going in. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Set 
set a timer for 10 minutes. Sure, 10 minutes. And we're starting now. All right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're in. We gotta get our sauce done now. Or at the last little bit. Absolutely, Booker Lane. Absolutely all about the Beastie Boys. Uh, if you have Apple TV, I would recommend uh, it's on there. Maybe on something else. But the Beastie Boys have a show they did in New York uh, without Yelp, obviously. Uh, the two of them reminiscing and going all the way from uh, the beginning with you know the whole uh, not Death Row, but it was like uh, Def Jam, all of that stuff. Really great uh, show on that. Worth the watch. last bit is our sauce. Uh, it is basically a pepper sauce. It's like a brown mix with uh, a little bit of wine balsamic uh, and actually we're going to put in some cranberry sauce. So it's going to be a little sweet. It's going to be a little tart. It's going to be a little peppery. So stick with me on this one. Stick with me. Thanksgiving. It'll be like Thanksgiving. I promise. Line this with parchment real quick. This will be for our brie guy. Like I said, and this is going to be with the fresh strawberry preserves that we made on Wednesday. Oh yeah. Tell me this isn't going to be gooey and deliciousness. There we go. All right, we've reached the end of the egg wash. We've done it. Congratulations, everyone. We used all the egg wash. We did everything we set out to do on that. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are left over with one roll of our puff pastry. But if I do it now, <laughs> not for long. I just took the sage, uh, sage sausage out of the freezer means within a day or two I'll have sausage rolls again because they were delicious all right that guy's to the side until our beef wellies come out we really need to get our sauce going so what do we got so our brown sauce is going back our espanol um, let me show you what this looks like actually now Ooh, that is hot let's get a Kind of hard to see down in there, isn't it? Let me see if I can get a little closer. There you go. So we got a nice brown sauce. So we're gonna sieve through. It's got that nice rich cup. Oh, I keep forgetting it's hot. It's almost like a brown gravy, but it's got the, some of the tomato puree in there. But we've got some peppercorns and a bay leaf that we don't want in, but we want to keep our sauce. So. It's like a double up on this sauce. Okay, so for our sauce, we're gonna need like two pieces of garlic, uh, two ounces of butter, a little bit of an onion. Uh, we're gonna let that in the, so we got white wine, white vine, wine vinegar, thyme, and our other stuff. So at the end of this though is when our current jelly is gonna come in, which is gonna be crazy. This is all going to be, I'm hoping so, Doris, I'm hoping so. Uh, let's get another beef stock. We're hoping so. So let's get some ghee in there. Not a 
whole lot of garlic, just a little bit. Where is my... Ah, oh, there's my knife. Uh -huh. Bench scraper to break them. Crushing them, make not all the way, not pulverizing them, but crush them enough to make the skins easily pop off. And that little bit of oil it produces. Let's get these ends cut off. And again, these don't have to be too fine. We are going to strain this sauce as well. Pizza sounds good. <laughs> Saucy pizza or pizza. I'll just take the pizza. Yeah, okay. Listen, I would always take pizza every day. Pizza is a main, it should be its own food group. That's the way I look at it. Keep that going. Alright. Nope. Girl, get in there. Our onion, onion, onion. Who's got the onion? Time. Ah. Okay, just a little let me switch over so you can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Some garlic, some thyme. We're using the one that we seared it up in because we're going to try and bring up those brown bits uh, to help feed the sauce. I may be out of onion though. be out of onion, but that's okay. There's enough onions in the rest of it. We should be okay. And then half a teaspoon of peppercorn crushed. So... We'll do it their way. is not uh, going as well as I had hoped. Let's put it in the port mortar and basil. That'll work a little better. There we go. We don't want to crush too much. Just crack it open. Get the essence going. It definitely has a strong pepper smell. So once these are all going, and then this the last part is that they go in. So we need four ounces of the white wine vinegar. There's our white cooking wine. There's our white wine vinegar. of the uh, the white cooking wine. How else do you measure it out? You take shots, right? Four ounces. That's quite a bit. bits that came off. We want those. That's going to make the sauce extra nice. Let's get this garlic browned up a little bit. We are going to strain the sauce. We're not too worried about the the garlic and the thyme in there because those will be coming out. Same with those peppercorns. We'll garnish them at the end. We can add some more in after we want. Uh, let's get a little bit of parsley done up. 
What are we looking at right now, actually? Okay, we're at 10 minutes right now. So. Okay, Google, set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Start Not quite now. there. Not quite there. Not quite there yet. That's why I say we got another five minutes on it. We'll check them then and we'll get a temp in them. Uh, they are going to have to rest. We don't want to cut into them and we don't want them cooked all the way to the end. The technique is to get it close and let the inside, like it stay inside and cook itself just a little while longer. a bay leaf as well. It didn't say anything about a bay leaf. Okay, we'll throw a bay leaf in. Salmic's gonna go in last. We're getting close. We are getting close, folks. If you're just joining us, this is our first attempt at making beef Wellingtons. Uh, we're doing individual guys. They are in the oven right now. We are making a peppercorn sauce here to go with it. Our potatoes, Leonese, are already prepared from the oven and sitting out. First attempt. We're hoping. We are hoping. We'll see. down just a little bit get all those little bits the bits and pieces it's exciting this is a very exciting this is the one of the toughest dishes I've done here on stream uh, other than the raviolis uh, raviolis uh, other than them it's the toughest thing I think I've done on stream we haven't gotten there yet but I feel pretty confident with what we have in the oven right now so they're looking good they're looking almost golden. We're going to get a temp on them because we really don't want them to be overcooked. But we don't want a bloody murder scene either. Okay, so now we need 10 ounces of the stock. Where's our shot glass? eight-ish. Cooking the hardest possible in entertaining a studio audience. A live studio audience, a household of five, plus all of our wonderful viewers from around the internet. Right? It's not, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> uh, let's add, uh, also, we're going to need ten ounces of our Espanol sauce that we made. getting places let's get our brie ready to go oh, okay we gotta pull these it's time to pull let's get a temp on one of these guys real quick can't show you just yet it's a secret it's a secret Perfect. Okay. We are good. We are red at 120 on one of these guys, which is not medium rare yet, but they're going to cook inside of here. Everything is trapped on the inside in its own little oven. So this is perfect. We're going to let them continue to do their thing. I just need to get a hot rack. There we go. Okay, 
get these moved over. <laughs> oh, y'all aren't ready for this. Okay, Google, stop timer. Hey, Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. All right, so our sauce is going. We're almost there. I really appreciate y'all coming on this journey because this is uh, this has been the one for sure. This sauce hopefully brings it all together. So what do we got left? We're gonna put. Are you ready? It's not even a whole lot. Red currant jelly, okay. We don't have the red currants. We're like a raisin, but they say the next thing is this cranberry sauce. So we're gonna try a little bit of the cranberry sauce in this guy. Try. It's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes it doesn't. She didn't go. It's the way she goes. The way she goes. <laughs> this is the way she goes, my friends. We are about to find out. We have faffoed around with our individual beef welly boys. Is it still hot out there? Oh, you son of a beasting. All right. You want to step up the heat at the end of this? I see how it is. All right. So for those that don't know, Step Up the Heat is our heat challenge here inside of our kitchen. Let's switch over here. Where we get introduced to our Carolina Reaper almonds. Yay. But here's the magical thing. The Google will decide how bad our punishment is today. Hey Google, pick a number between 1 and 10. One! It, oh, you all heard it. I was saved by the bell. Ha <laughs> I got one. What can you do? Ooh. Now one <laughs> is hot. Don't, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. You had Google for me? I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, nope, oh, nope. Let's go here. One is <coughs> sits in the chest. It's a little rough. But those six boys earlier were, uh, they were hot. Okay, so there we go. So we're getting there. We don't want this to be a thick sauce. It shouldn't be a gravy. It should be an accomplishment or an accompaniment to the beef welly boys. I like that beef torchic. Where'd you get that one? That's a decent one. <laughs> I like that. But again, it should just be an, an accompaniment to the Beef Welly Boys. It shouldn't take over. So it should, should still be good. So we're going to get our peppercorns in here. Once it gets back up to a simmer, we'll throw our peppercorns in. And then at the very last piece, We'll throw in our, our jellies at the end. And that's just to bring the, the balance. It should be peppercorny. It should be that heat. But it should also be a little bit of sweet from the, the cranberry stuff. And don't worry. It won't go to waste. Uh, whatever bit I use will be used. And I'm sure my wife will eat the rest of it. I can't wait to show you these guys. I, I can't wait to like crack one open. We're going to do a full on plating. Uh, I'll give you the full plate. We'll cut it in half so you can see the nice, wonderful goodness on the inside. Um, and we need to start thinking ahead about who we're going to raid. Um, I know it's Sunday, so Sundays are different. I believe our good friend Mikey Six Gun is over there starting over in FFXIV. Maybe we'll have to go check out and see what he's got going on in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's throw in our peppercorns now. <laughs> oh. 
Is she? I know I'm a little early. I wasn't expecting to be done at close to like six. So right now Mikey's the only one I see on. If uh, doors or, or tooth, if you could tell me, I haven't seen any. I've been checking any, any social medias. If uh, Totes is on and she's gonna play Tiny Tina, then we'll go raid her. Uh, if she is not on, then we will go raid Mikey Six Gun. It does. It looks super fun. Tony said she was having a great time with it, so that's why I definitely want to go check it out. Uh, I just don't know if she's going to play tonight or not. I know she has... Life gets in the way sometimes, so sometimes the schedule isn't always there, and I understand those things. For me, I'm trying to be consistent. Uh, I've been pretty consistent. This is... We're almost coming up. We have one more stream left in March, but this will be three months that we've hit it pretty hard. We've had two streams canceled, but that's because there's nothing we could do. Both times was a vehicle... What are you going to do? Enjoy your food. Thanks, you Safs. Have a great night. I'm sorry you didn't get to see the end of it, but uh, I'll, I'll post pictures in the two Discord so you guys can check them out. <laughs> she has been. Her and uh, Icewing both came through. It was cool to see Icewing playing in uh, Act Razor, the Renaissance. It's a great side-scroller old game with a Sims portion to it. It was an awesome game from back in the day, and they really did a great job on the Switch, bringing it over. So it was fun checking that out today. Uh, see, that's what it is. I got that little bit, that little window crack in here to keep it cool. It blows like right on that burner, so it's just having a hard time keeping that burner going. <laughs> Let's put a little, little balsamic is what it said. Not a whole lot, just a little. We've got our sieve out, right? Yep. Where's our sieve? There it is. Perfect. You're going to cook for us, too? <laughs> if you guys were here, or when, if everybody comes to TwitchCon, I will be more than happy to have everybody over and definitely have a Sunday night family dinner. Uh, I think i got a big enough spot that we could throw, like, a barbecue and stuff if we need, if we wanted to. With parking, I'm a little ways out from town, but we'll look into it. we got some time between now and October. TwitchCon, that's right, Doors. We're going to TwitchCon, my man. I'm going to TwitchCon. I'm taking my, my mod, you know? We as an us? Yes, we as an us. You don't fly? Okay. Understand. It is a gamble when you get in the airs. Uh, it's, it's always a gamble. I know they say it's safe, but... Most of the time, my RNG has been okay. You want your RNG to be okay. <coughs> oh, crap. Need water. Hold on. I know, I need an accident or something. What we'll do I have to come up with a name for it? You like that? You like that sauce? Sauce. Sauce. That's what a brie looking like. Well, let's get in there. Ooh. Just need to Let's go. Sauce. 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 Hit him with the sauce. Alright. We're good with our thermometer. We'll be plating up probably about 6 o'clock. We'll have everything on our plates. We'll get a taste test, and then, uh, like I said, we'll check and see who's where. Read appropriately. Show the love to our communities. <laughs> uh, if you're coming from there, yeah, probably 24 to 28 hours straight. Uh, it is quite a drive. 
Longer than 23? Where were you going, Seth? Yes, Doors. We, Doors and I, I think, have both covered the four corners of the U.S. We've driven New York to Florida, we've driven Florida to California, and California to Washington. So we've done the, the four corners, basically. We've done the whole U. We've done the U shape. We just haven't drawn side to side. Okay, Google, stop timer. Get our, our cranberry jellies in here. Let's get a taste test first. I think this is going to do good. There we go. So I've got it in. Basically, it's just going to melt. I want to melt it down in. so close so close I don't know why that one doesn't work hello Sarah I don't know why that one's not working it's being dumb how are you now good and you not so bad we're just now coming in and we're making our sauce to go on top of our beef wellies <laughs> Of action version of the command for the win. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> our sauce is getting ready to strain out here. I think we're just about. It is the sauce for our beef wellies. We're about to plate up. You're, you've come at just the crucial moment. If you're out there and you're lurking and you can hear my voice. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. That's when we need to gather and get our beef wellies together. We are about to plate up our beef welly boys. They're the beef welly boys. <laughs> so yes, you've come at just the mating time. Hey, no worries. We've had a great time. We've had a great time. I'm gonna give that just a few more minutes. I'm gonna get that jelly broken down in. <laughs> Been here the whole time for once. I appreciate that, sir. I know how it is. I know how the modern goes. I understand that you, we got to lurk, and we got social networks, and we do the stuffs. So I appreciate it. Let's get a nice clean plate out for our lady plate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm hyped for this. So hyped for this. I think that's gonna be my guy there. Yep. Oh, pastry is nice and crunchy. 
It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Get the job. I do. Uh, we had an upgrade here to the kitchen. We put in some contact paper. It's chalkboard contact paper. Let me give you a, a close up. So we can draw whatever it is that we want on here. Uh, my daughter drew this one. I drew the little thing, and I know it's hard to see, but it says exclamation point menu. I need to get a little bit better uh, full on. Yes, we're going to go full Bob's Burgers. We'll be able to have stuff like right here lined up and ready to go. We just have to get the paper up. We were messing around. I messed around with it this morning, and I got it up there. Just a little touch, something different, you know. Have it in there. Figured why not. Nope, not there. Okay, there we go. Just trying to make sure our sauce, all that jelly is melted down. Sauce is almost there. I can see the white beard patch. <laughs> you mean the entirety of the beard? And it's always this one. I don't. There's this one straggler that just always comes out. It's like a, a stripe. It's my rogue, my Mr. Fantastic, whatever it is. <laughs> so our sauce is almost done up. Get the lid off these potatoes. Oh. These guys have been stewing in their own good stuff. It's going to be amazing. Our sauce is pretty, pretty, pretty close. So we're going to strain the sauce though just to get all that stuff out. So no worries about that. That'll all be gone. It is. That's what we're hoping. We had to make a brown sauce. We made the Espanol first. Uh, traditional Espanol. Um, just a quick brown sauce. And then now we've gone with our peppercorns. We've added this uh, cranberry, which should be like a red currant or a cranberry. Uh, some white wine. Some peppercorns. Give it a little heat. I think I actually want to put a little more, a few more. Just a few more in there for a moment while it thickens up just a little bit. Because we're close. We're getting real close. We've got our parsley ready. We're going to do our plating here in just a moment. Stick with us. You're about to see what all this hard work has been for. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sauce is looking good. Let's get it strained. do the dang thing. Are y'all ready? When does Lent end? Good Friday, which is April 15th, I believe. I have the day off actually from work. They give it to us off, so I'll be on a three-day weekend. Uh, there will be no Sunday stream that Easter weekend. I'm taking a three-day weekend. It's going to be nice. I got a tattoo on Monday. A uh, three-day weekend. Should be good to go. <laughs> Are you ready to see it? Are you ready? All right. Let's switch. Let's get our nice. There is our beef wally boy. We 
haven't cut it up yet. It is the Chainsaw Man one doors. Yes, I will be having Chainsaw Man tattoos right below Luffy. Be, uh, the panel will be coming in here. Oh, crap. Hitting the microphone. Sorry, my bad. And then we'll have room for one more on the arm. We'll have three down the arm. Toadius, how you doing tonight? We just, we, we must have uh, summoned, summoned you because we just mentioned your name. We were trying to figure out if you were playing Tiny Tina tonight. Would you come at just the perfect moment? We're about to plate up this beef welly. So, got the whole other arm though. I know, I know. I know. I know. Is our potatoes, our potato leonese. Like I said, they were two thirds boiled with these caramelized onions in the back. I'm gonna hit them with a hit of that black pepper. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Are we ready? Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce down. Where's my spoon? We'll put it on the side. We'll put it on the side. Okay. All right. Uh, I've, I've dialed long enough. Are we ready? This is making me really nervous. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tastes so good, make you wanna slap your mama! Don't it, Willie? Really? Yeah, yeah boy. boy! Yes! So happy with that. I was so worried this was going to be overcooked, uh, but it was not. So awesome. That, that is, that's prime right there. That's a medium rare to medium. It didn't leak blood out everywhere, so it settled nice and good. Yeah. All right. We get a little bit of this pepper sauce. Just a little bit of this pepper sauce. our pepper sauce just a little bit for our guys there we goes let's get a little let's get a little picture here like, give me just a moment get a little a little greenery in there you know All right, I need a picture real quick before I devour this. I'll give you the taste test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The beef welly boys. Are we ready, y'all? Y'all ready for this? Do 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 It's so tender and juicy. The bacon, uh, the prosciutto adds a little bit of saltiness. The mushrooms add that umami. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't. Just have a moment right there. 
I did. I did have a Ratatouille moment. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. I was I was really scared about this dish. This was this was this one scared me for for most of this week. And that lip smack in ASMR. Be right back behind a plane tickets. <laughs> Thank you, Icewing. Thank you. Right? Perfect on the temp. Nice and medium rare. The, the filet literally melted in the mouth. That sauce is nice. It's a little bit of sweet. It's got a little bit of heat from the peppercorns. Let's give, the, let's give these... Let's give this the second round here. Let's get a little potato. Let's try these guys. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easily accomplishment to that. Accompanies that. Perfect. Those caramelized onions. I don't care what anybody says though. I'm coming back. Getting one more. Nope. Getting one more here. Oh my god. <laughs> this this boy is a chef and no one could tell me different. I appreciate that. <laughs> if Saf will fly for this, okay, it's perfect. I've got it worked out. TwitchCon is good. I'll, I will make individuals some beef welly boys for everybody that flies out for TwitchCon. <laughs> for the moment, they're not. I think they're there. I haven't given the okay. We haven't signaled it yet. It's only a matter of time, though. <laughs> I fall in love all over again. Absolutely is what I'm trying. Absolutely that's what I'm trying. Now here's the kicker. Here's the great thing, though. Tiki going wild, this was your request, so thank you very much for this. I have two of these uncooked guys in the freezer that I will be a nice and good temperature that I will be bringing your way tomorrow at the office. So all you're going to need to do is warm up your oven, pop them in for about 15 minutes and let them sit, and you too can have a wonderful individual Beef Welly Boy. Just as a token for, of appreciation for coming and hanging out, sending us a request, we're sending you home with two Beef Welly Boys. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no, thank you, sir. Thank you for the, recommend, uh, for the request. Uh, this is what I asked. This is pushing the envelope here for me, uh, pushing my cooking to be a little bit more than just than just what it was. We're, we're, I feel it's getting better. I feel my sauces are getting better. I feel like my technique is definitely getting a little better. Taste-wise, this is phenomenal. So, I'm going to wrap it up here, though, by telling you all that I love you. Thank you all for being here. Let me check and see who is on. Let's see if Totes is on playing... Tiny Tina. Shift to party. Nope. Okay. I see no's. Uh, I see no Toteus online. No stream tonight? Okay. Then next Sunday. If you're on next Sunday, we gotcha. We definitely want to see some... Uh, we want to see some of that Tiny Tina. It looks like a very fun game. So... I use this cook. Hey, if the money's right, Seth, if the money's right, I get to cook all day, I could live with that. I could live out of that. Go eat them beef always. I thank you. So let's let's go raid uh, Mikey Six Gun, a great friend of most of our communities. Uh, getting back into it. He's just now restarting a character in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, he does get submerged. He is a little uh, uh, PG-17. Parental advisory, just in case, for those coming from here, where I know I try to keep it a little family-friendly on Sundays, just just to be warned. I have no issue with it, but I'm just letting you know ahead of time. So, let's give it the old raid. Mikey. Six gun. Is it a number? I can never remember if it's a number it's spelled out. It's spelled out, right? No, it is a number. I is so smart, rock hard brain, rock hard brain. All right, again, for the bottom of my heart, 
from my full tummy that's going to be from this friggin' beef only ten. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for all the subs tonight. And I can't wait to see all your beautiful faces on Wednesday. Come on back now. Alright? Laters. Party of nine, what is going on? Cody is 